This week we're back in the snowy Alps of Slovenia, on the hunt for chamois. Previously we trekked the mighty Alps and took a beautiful trophy male. But now we're back for a female and hopefully a younger animal so we can compare the taste. As always with chamois hunting, there's plenty of climbing to be done first. Only when we get up the mountains are we likely to spot this beautiful mountain goat. As we trek up through the trees, there's plenty of tracks on the adjacent hillside. Climbing higher, the views are truly stunning and picturesque. Our guide insists that by climbing this steep hillside on the mountain, we can sneak over the top and can ambush a chamois on the other side. If we continue down this pathway and come around the mountain, it will be much more difficult to stalk in for a shot. So, up we go. On the top we find a little cover where I can prepare the rifle. And right there ahead of us is a beautiful chamois. She's looking our way but doesn't seem bothered. As she continues grazing, I take my shot. So that was, that was pretty intense. Now those chamois were just 100 metres away. It's a pretty steep climb to get up here. And then all of a sudden they were on us. This is completely different from chamois hunting I've had elsewhere. These dolomites, the hills aren't quite so steep, the peaks aren't quite so difficult to climb. But with all these valleys, you're right on top of the chamois very, very quickly. Now there's a big group, there's probably 10 or 12 feeding down here. We originally saw one up on the mountain that you saw up on the right hand side, and then suddenly they all came into view. We had to be quick, take the shot as quickly as we could, which is a great thing with this blazer. It does cycle very fast, and we had a follow up shot if we needed it. Zeiss is sharp, huh? Yeah. And very fast shooting, I yeah. don't connect. Thank you, thank you very much, thank Good. you. Did you get the blood on my forehead, by the way? Yeah. This is what happens if you don't pay attention to your eye relief, okay? Happens to the best of us. We head down the mountainside to claim our prize. Wow, now, we may have gone the long way up and over to get it, but actually once it's been shot, it's fallen on one of these hiking trails down here, which is ideal for us. They estimate 10% of the Slovenian population regularly go out and hike in the mountains. So there's quite a few of these trails all over the place. Now, that's good in one respect, is that you can actually get into some of the places of the mountain you wouldn't ordinarily be able to. The trails are all kept open. Uh, but in other respects, that means there's also a lot of walkers on the mountain and they can push uh, the chamois or the gemps all over the place. But this one gave us a shot it was quartering away and I was shooting down so as you can see I've had to take a shot down through the back of the rib cage which I exited at the front shoulder that's one thing when you're hunting in the mountains you've got to get used to shooting at extreme angles know your aim points know your trajectory know, make sure that bullet passes straight through all the vitals but I'm shooting 300 wind mag and on a chamois like this that's an awful lot of bullet. Now, Alish, tell me a little bit about this uh, huh? this gem. So 
How old would you say this animal is? This is the female. Yes, beautiful female. Uh, beautiful female, not so so uh, old, maybe the five years old. Yeah. But uh, trophy, it's good. Yeah. And uh, this is normal to shooting in this area. Yes, it's a good representative female. And what a slightly different coloration, a little bit lighter than the male that I yeah, shot. This is, no, uh, this is not so young mm -hmm. and here start to dark. Yeah. Uh, the normally is black, this one, and this is uh, uh, the citron yeah. color. But now it's uh, the white and a little bit grass and this is then the sea in the long distance, the not so young. Yeah. From good shoot, from good hunting in Slovenia, and said. Slovenian. Lowski Blagor. Lowski Blagor. Thank Lowska you. Lowska Hvala. Lowska Lowsk Hvala. Yeah. Thank you. And this one go in the moon, uh, then the last eat. Yeah. So once again, a Germanic tradition of celebrating the harvest here. Now that's one of the great things about hunting in Europe is the celebration of the hunt, the celebration of the harvest and the respect that's shown for the fallen quarry. Now this one, um, like I say, being in the Dolomites here, the climbing wasn't quite so heavy, but it's still a challenging and exciting hunt. So all we need to do now is get her off the mountain. So. That's the first part of our job done. We've got our trophy female. Now we get to go after a little one. There's a group of gems just around the corner here. We're just around the corner being in the next valley. So we're gonna head back, truck all the way around and then try and come up from underneath them. So yeah, so far so good, but it's not finished yet. With our chamois safely out of the way, we continue on our journey. Up and up we continue on the steep edges of the snowy Alps, across the ridges and past some stunning scenery. And it will be nice hunting here. But it must be winter time. Yeah. Then uh, the, these uh, trees without... Uh, the leaves, yeah. Leaves. I can imagine if it's... Then see. Yeah, then it's covered, uh, there's nothing in Don't go back, don't see anything. And also with the snow you can see tracks yeah. from a long, the long way. snow is So the gems, they like these slopes. Mm -hmm. And coming to it, then uh, go loving. Uh, the uh, snow go back yeah. and coming in these parts to eat. And don't need a lot. Gums need a lot, very small food uh, yeah. in the, this winter area. It's really nice. So they uh, feed in the summer? Huh? They feed in the in summer? summer yes. And in the winter they just need a small amount of sustenance. We climb another ridge and find a great vantage point on the edge of the mountain. Plenty of chamois moving up the steep mountainside, but they're higher up the mountain than us and a fair distance away. This could be a tricky shot, especially with the amount of cover. We wait patiently for a chamois to move out of cover to give us a clear shot, but they all seem to be heading away from us. I keep my eyes on one beautiful young chamois moving across the mountainside, and just as he dips out of sight of the camera, I take my shot. Okay, so it's been hard stalk up here. We've managed to shoot this uh, young chamois from across the mountain. So it's 135 meters from here to there. He moved along a little bit, didn't really give us a clear shot. This, the, uh, this mountainside is alive with chamois. They're all tucked in everywhere, lying down, feeding. We didn't see them until we took the shot and then suddenly it exploded like ants in an anthill. We head over to claim our prize and observe the local hunting traditions once again. The game gets its last meal. Now, this is a young buck, probably a year old. And you see just tiny little hooks on the top of his head. But he's still a very, very handsome buck. Nice and brown in the face, not deep black as they get older, and significantly smaller body size uh, than the others. Now, they only shoot either the very young here or the very old. When they're four or five years old, they leave them for their mating ability, so I've been heard. 
try and keep some strength in the in the gene pool. So management of the game here is incredibly important. So like I say, an old one or a young one, and this is exactly what we set out to harvest today. An absolutely beautiful young buck. Okay, now, now we go. Yeah. It's another phenomenal hunt in Slovenia, this time in the Dolomites. Not quite the Slovenia Alps we've hunted in before, but still magnificent, rugged terrain. Beautiful snowfall, fantastic, spooky forests, and these hills are teeming with chamois. Not only chamois, but roebuck, wild boar, red stags. Slovenia seems to have a very rich hunting heritage and an awful lot of game. So it's been heavy work getting up here, but patience has finally paid off. And we did also harvest our one-year-old buck. To organise your Slovenian hunting adventure, visit service-uk.co.uk and I hope to see you up here sometime. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, gear and bow hunting videos on YouTube.